let's move on. Uh, let's move on to the United States Championship then. Um, so that's Samoa Joe will be defending against Rey Mysterio. I love the op the opportunities they have to, to tell some great stories. In, in this match, Rey is just fantastic with absolutely anybody you put him in the ring with, and Joe's a fantastic wrestler as well. So. I'm hoping, yeah, you see a lot of Ray sort of dodging Samoa Joe's big muscly attacks. Joe is going to catch him a couple of times. It is going to look pretty brutal when when uh, he slams him down. I uh, I think Joe's going to keep keep the belt once again. It's a legend putting over uh, a younger star, and I, I I honestly think I think that should be the way. I think uh, Ray really helps Samoa Joe get back on track career wise because he's been lagging so. Let's hope Ray pulls a fantastic match out of it. Yeah, I think the storytelling is going to be great in this match. Um, both fantastic storytellers. Um, I'm going to go with Rey Mysterio for the win, only because... It was WrestleMania. And it's they WrestleMania. Like to do these feel good things. They don't care how short these title reigns are no. anymore. Ray, Zack Ryder. <laughs> Ray's never won the US title, so I can, they're throwing Grand Slam winners out of the park right now. I so. I can see Ray. I, yeah, I can see Ray winning. I can also see Joe winning it and retaining it. Of course, it's just that simple, simple type of grudge match. But um, yeah, this is something I, I, I think would, I would like Ray to win. I yeah. think we're going to want to see rematches, uh, you know, down the line with this match. I really think it's going to be a, a sleeper uh, hit at WrestleMania. It's you know, it probably won't be match of the night just because of some of the matches that we're going to talk about in a bit. But it's it's going to be on there. I'm really. Yeah. I'm, pi I'm picking Ray just to be different on that one. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's let's um, talk about some grudge matches yes. then. Um, so what do we think about Shane and the Miz? Well, this Four, is, count anywhere. This is my favorite grudge match that's uh, on the card. I'm I'm really happy that they went the route of turning Shane heel. And uh, not turning Miz back heel, which is just so easy to do. Yeah, and heel Shane, and obviously I know he's taking some personal shots at Miz. He's saying things about, you know, your dad uh, should have never conceived you and things like that, which is fantastic. And Miz uh, has been firing back with some some of the promos of his career as well. So uh, I, I think uh, I think we're going Miz, but just because I don't really know. I think it's a short story. I don't see it carrying on. Because it's a Shane McMahon feud, so I see Shane maybe backing away for a couple of months like he usually does after WrestleMania. So I think Miz is going gonna, is gonna to beat Shane here. For me, this is just a match that I don't think anybody is dying to see. Um, like, in previous years, you've had Shane, Undertaker, it works. Shane and AJ, you knew it was going to work. Yeah. Like these Shane match, I just don't think I don't think it does anything for either Their of these styles, two. Shane versus Miz, it just doesn't do anything for either of these two. Their styles win, aren't going to aren't going to complement each other. Um, but the Force Cat Anywhere stipulation is there to kind of mask yeah. that, and it's going to be probably built around some kind of high spot for Shane. They're as both well. great in their own elements. I just don't think Shane versus Miz is a match the nation wants to see, the world wants to see. I'm not sure, but I am going with Miz. I think the match is a great opportunity for the Miz. He's showcasing. He's obviously. He's bringing in a new in-ring style at the minute. Um, so it's a perfect opportunity for him to really showcase that. Jump off stuff. He started doing some springboard springboard offense and stuff. So it's a really it's a chance for him to maybe jump off a few things and really show us what he's got in a high-profile match at WrestleMania as a face, which he has not had that opportunity yet. So that's what I'm excited to see in the match. As for the match itself, I'm not that bothered, but I do think Miz has got it. All right, uh, uh, any more grudge matches before we get into the... the yeah, match? so this grudge match hasn't had a lot of build, but I am really looking forward to AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. Yeah, actually me too, yeah. It, it's a tale of two classic wrestlers. They've been in the business so long, they know exactly what to do in a feud like this, uh, and they've been doing that. And Randy Orton is, is such a great heel because... He's very good, which kind of makes you hate him even more because he's not a pussy, uh, like Baron Corbin, for instance, or he's not somebody who's actually not good. So the fact that he is so good and he still chooses to do things underhandedly and just do things that he wants makes him a really good heel. AJ is a great face just because of uh, how likable AJ is and how, and how phenomenal he is in the ring as well. So <sighs> I'm gonna go uh, AJ Styles, I know uh, Cam is, is going to differ with me on this one. Um, I'm going to go AJ 
just because it's AJ, he's a face. It's WrestleMania. Randy Orton doesn't really lose anything by losing this match because he could easily just attack AJ afterwards or they could have some rematches at the following pay-per-views. So what do you think? Yeah. Um, for me, this is just an absolute main event match. It really is. The caliber of the superstars in this match, the spots are going to be great. The match itself is going to be great. The storytelling is going to be fantastic. Uh, I think I think this has potential to steal the show. And, and when you look back at Randy Orton's WrestleMania history, is there a match you don't really remember? But Randy Orton is like... Not Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, right. you remember it. Randy Orton, CM Punk, you remember it. Like Randy Orton has these great single grudge matches yeah. at, at WrestleMania. I think this is going to be, <laughs> no pun intended, phenomenal. Yeah, it really is. I, I think Randy Orton. My prediction is Randy Orton. Okay. Could it go to Styles? Absolutely, but I'm just, I'm just predicting Randy Orton. All right, that's cool. Okay, so the next match we're going to speak about is going to be Batista versus Triple H. So the return of the animal Batista against Triple H in a no-holds-barred match. Hasn't had much build, but the tiny bit of build this match has had has actually been really, really good and really strong from both parties heading into WrestleMania. Um, this is one of the matches I'm really excited about. Obviously, it's cool to see the animal back. Triple H is um, a legend in his own right, always puts on a great match at WrestleMania. These are two guys I definitely want to see battle, uh, battle it out. Um, at WrestleMania. Uh, as for the win with Triple H's career on the line or in ring career on the line, um, I think I have to give this one to Triple H. Um, the match has been billed as Triple H has never beat Batista one on one. Triple H is the face heading into this match. So for me, Triple H is, um, is going to take the win on this one. And rightfully so. When legends come up against each other, it really doesn't matter who wins. No one's really going out a loser as such. It's not, it's not damaging to any one of them. It's just a great match for us fans to see. So I'm giving Triple H the win. That's my prediction on this one. Um, it'll be a great no-holds-barred matches. How many, how many no-holds-barred matches has Triple H had um, at WrestleMania with a variety of different people? Um, so they're always a great match. Triple H is the winner for me. Um, great to see the animal back in the ring. Um, but I've got to give it to Triple H. Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree that uh, Triple H always pulls it out at WrestleMania. Um, of all the legends, I think he's the one that should retire last, just because I feel like he hasn't lost a step in the ring. Um, the thing is, I'll get back to the storyline in a minute, but the thing is, are we going to see two retirements in one night because one will you know undoubtedly overshadow the other one so you know i'm not exactly sure if triple h and Kurt angle should retire on the same night so i agree uh that triple h will win so that is my prediction there i the think i have to say about the storyline is while i do think the build is uh very good and they decided to go the uh kind of shoot route on it which i have a problem with only because the way the angle started was, you know, Batista kind of assaulting a 70-year-old Ric Flair, which is just the most wrestling angle thing ever. Not to say it was bad, I actually think it was one of the best endings to Raw that we've seen in a long time. But then to go from that to kind of trying to shoot on each other, I think, you know, it doesn't really uh, correlate, in my opinion. However, I'm looking very forward to this match and I can't wait to to, uh, to see it because they are both great brawlers and I think they are going to tell a, a good story. So my prediction is Triple H for that one. 